coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Dixon resigns halfway into five-year term. Berlin Candy Bomber passes. Joe B. falters with test flight accident. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Dixon resigns halfway into five-year term. FAA head honcho Steve Dixon has announced his resignation from the FAA effective March 31st. He said the rationale is that the pandemic has caused lengthy separation from his family, made more common by the rise of travel restrictions along his Georgia to D.C. commute. While premature, he said his tenure has guided the administration into becoming a better version of itself than it was when he was appointed by the Trump administration. His time at the FAA saw a number of controversies, from the Boeing 737 MAX debacle, which harmed public confidence in the FAA, as well as the rash of disruptive passengers that have continued to grow in number since 2020. The most recent crisis was the back and forth between the admin and cell carriers installing their new 5G architecture. While the problem has been somewhat addressed, the last-minute requests for the carriers to postpone rollout were not a good look for the FAA in the public eye, reinforcing its recent reputation for sloppy handling of important duties. The real reason, if different from his stated excuse, has not come to light. Oddly, however, he's not the only Trump-era appointment looking to leave government service, only the most recent. After the break, Dasso Falcon 6X moving towards certification. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Dassault Falcon 6X moving towards certification. Dassault Aviation updated customers on the progress being made by their upcoming 6X, showing off some of the tests faced by the aircraft from Arctic encounters to chasing the sound barrier. The trio of pre-production demonstrators have been flown for more than 600 hours across 180 flights in what Dassault describes as a, quote, rapid-paced flight test program, end quote. While putting the design through some of its first paces, they sent one Falcon to the harsh Canadian north, where it saw temps down to negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit. NBAA names recipients of AMT scholarships. The National Business Aviation Association Maintenance Committee has announced the lucky recipients of the 2021 Maintenance AMT Scholarship, delayed since last year from pandemic-related scheduling issues. Each of the winners will receive a specialized training package suited to their career needs, from initial maintenance training programs to engine courses. Those eligible for the assistance are current or aspiring business aviation maintenance technicians required to send a letter of recommendation, resume, transcript, and completed essay. Republic Airline Fundraiser Back for 2022 Republic Airways announced its 10th annual plane pull to raise money for a variety of children's charities. The event raised $3 million since its inception, and this year is hoped to beat every previous record by leaps and bounds. Charities in the Indianapolis area that will see assistance include A Kid Again, Indiana Wish, Riley Children's Foundation, and Peyton Manning Children's Hospital at Ascension St. Vincent. 
Another air show canceled. Luke Air Force Base has announced the cancellation of the Luke Days Air Show scheduled for March. In the announcement, the 56th Fighter Wing said that the change was due to a number of factors outside their control, but future shows are hoped to return. Due to logistical and economic strain, as well as COVID-19 challenges, base leadership deemed it in the best interest of all parties to cancel the 2022 show and looks forward to overcoming these issues for future events. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Berlin Candy Bomber Goes West Colonel Gail Halverson, famous for his role in originating the morale-boosting candy bombing operation during the early days of the Cold War, has passed away at 102 years of age. In 1948, when tensions between the Allies ran high over who would retain possession over Berlin, Halverson's habit of dropping small parcels of treats to children grew to a full-fledged aerial resupply mission to prevent the city from becoming a Soviet hostage. The Berlin airlift became one of the earliest victories of the Allies in their rivalry with the Soviet powers. His duties as a pilot flying the C-54 Skymaster over bombed-out Berlin brought to mind the difficulties faced by those German citizens, mostly women and children, struggling to survive while surrounded by a hostile Soviet regime. After speaking with local children while stationed in a farmhouse loft, he noticed the rarity of candy in the area after seeing them portion out empty gum wrappers just to enjoy the scent. As he returned to land near the airport, he would drop small bundles of treats with a makeshift handkerchief parachute, which quickly grew to begin Operation Little Vittles, an effort that saw more than 20 tons of chocolate, gum, and treats delivered to the children of occupied Berlin over a 14-month period. After these messages, Joby falters with test flight accident. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Joby falters with test flight accident. A remotely piloted test of Joby's second demonstrator aircraft ended disappointingly as the aircraft was involved in an accident. The company has been understandably mum on specifics, while the NTSB quickly announced their investigation into the cause. The incident was mentioned in the firm's terse 8K documents, saying that, quote, its remotely piloted experimental prototype aircraft was involved in an accident during flight testing at our remote flight test base in California. There were no injuries, end quote. The company had gained no small measure of interest when it filed the request for radio-controlled remotely piloted flights off the Californian coast. Their decision to build a second aircraft was a fortuitous turn in this case, as their evaluation and development can continue without too great a setback. The news was slightly damaging to its cachet on the stock market as Joby stock slid back down around 10%, losing recent gains. The setback was a first for the company. Joby is a young company flying a clean sheet design and in the fairly new eVTOL industry, accidents are part and parcel of the testing process. They stressed their precautions surrounding the accident, emphasizing that no one was at risk during this stage of the program. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.